What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. In this video, I thought I'd just do a quick visual effects walkthrough of how I relit this shot inside of Blender using some very basic masking and compositing techniques. I'll be doing a full tutorial and going through some more advanced concepts on how you can relight shots inside of Blender in the future, but I thought I'd just do a quick walkthrough and breakdown showing some of the basic concepts. Now you can do these techniques in a lot of different programs. Blender isn't the only one. In fact, in the professional world, when you're color correcting and relighting shots, a lot of people use DaVinci Resolve, but a lot of the concepts are similar and can be applied in both programs. Anyways guys, this is the shot that I relit using some very basic masks inside of Blender and I've just uploaded it as a background image to our camera. And as you can see here in our compositing setup here, this is what I've done to our shot. Now, obviously this is a pretty heavy color grade and uh, I've done a lot to this shot, but you can do these same techniques in more subtle ways as well. But as you can see here, I've added some basic sun rays kind of hitting the back wall here and along the floor right here in the foreground. And then I've also tried to motivate this light here in the live action shot to kind of enhance the center of the frame here where all the characters are. What I've done here is I've just created two separate masks in our masking tab, one for the sunlight and one for the soft top light, kind of creating that top light above our characters. So I've just kind of traced out some portions here where I wanted the sunlight to hit the back wall. And then I've also done the same thing on the floor here. So pretty simple setup. Of course, you can be more precise with it if you want. I've uh, feathered the edges of all of these masks to kind of blend them in to the shot a bit better. And for the amount of time that I spent on it, I thought it was a pretty cool looking result. Um, the next mask was our soft top light. So as you can see, if I select this one, I've just created a very soft mask here, motivated from this practical in our live action shot. And then I feathered it a ton around the mask's edges so that the intensity would fade off more gradually. So I created these two masks here. And then in the compositing tab, you can see that we've started off with our movie clip. And then I've overlaid these masks on top of our live action shot using various blend modes. So as you can see here, I'll uh, go ahead and start with the top light off. And then this is kind of our shot from scratch, for example. So no power windows have been added to our scene. And then as you can see here, I've just taken our sunlight masks. I've run it through a color balance node to warm it up a bit. So it's like hard, warm sunlight. And then I've run it through this color dodge node that combines it with our movie clip. So as you can see, as I increase this, it's creating that sun ray on our back wall, as well as here in the foreground on our floor. And I think the floor definitely feels a little bit more natural than the back wall here. But but uh, with a little bit of tweaking, I think I could make it look a little nicer. You know, the bars here could be a bit brighter on the top right, but um, still a pretty nice looking effect to add a little bit of depth and texture to the shot. And of course, depending on how intense I want it, I can just increase the factor here. Obviously, this is a little bit too much, um, but this is kind of the general idea. And of course, if I wanted to be even more precise with it, I could mask out our characters here in the foreground so that the sun wouldn't actually hit them. I think in some cases, the sun hitting them might actually work okay, but that just kind of depends on the shot and uh, how quickly the characters are moving. And one of the main things that I uh, kind of tweaked in creating these shots here and combining the mass power window over our live action shot here is just playing with the uh, blend mode here. So as you can see, I have our sun rays set to color dodge, but you could also set it to perhaps overlay and uh, you know get a slightly different looking result. As you can see, it's kind of darkening our live action shot as well as brightening where our sun rays are. So depending on your desires, you could play around with different blend modes. Add might work as well. Let's check out add. Add's a little bit bright, I think, but if you bring down the factor some more, yeah, add is a little bit much in my opinion. It's not really blending into our characters here very well. Soft light tends to be kind of nice, I think. Just increase that a little bit. So you get the idea, just kind of uh, playing around with combining this sunlight mask on top of your live action footage. So I'll go ahead and turn it back to color dodge for the sake of the tutorial and just kind of adjust our factor here. So we get a nice sun hit on our back wall and floor here. Let's see if that looks okay. Finally, the second thing I did was combine our soft top light mask, kind of motivated from this uh, practical here in our live action shot. And one of the most common subjects when it comes to lighting in cinematography is finding motivation for your lighting sources. It wouldn't really make sense for me to power window all of our characters here if there wasn't really any motivation for that source. But because there's this practical in our scene already, I felt like I could use that to have an excuse to draw the eye to our characters here 
in the middle of our shot a bit better. So as you can see here, I've uh, taken our soft top light mask. I've run it through a set alpha node so that instead of just overlaying, for example, just a colored sharp mask like our sun right here, it would actually just source the original live action shot here wherever the soft top light mask was. So as you can see here, if I increase the factor node here that is connected to our soft top light mask, as you can see, if I bring this up, you'll notice that the mask is being applied to the footage itself and it's drawing the viewer's eye to the center of our scene and creating a little bit more mood in the shot. So uh, of course you can increase it all the way and there's only so much you can get away with here. When I increase this all the way to one, this uh, power window seems pretty sourcey and a little bit fake, but just a little technique that you can use to uh, kind of change the intensity of different areas of your shot, create a little texture on the foreground or background with some hard hits of light created by these power windows and create a little bit more mood in your story. But anyways, for this composite, after I combined our two masks and overlaid these power windows on top of our shot, I just added a little RGB curves here to bring up the contrast a bit, add a little bit more mood as well, and then I just added a, another color balance node here to add some final color correction on top of our entire shot here. But anyways guys, there's a lot more you can do with this technique and there are a lot of other ways you can do this in more precise ways even. And I'll make some more in-depth videos about these concepts in the future. So stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're interested in these kinds of concepts, let us know what you'd like to see next on the channel and I will see you in the next video.